Voice communications always has been the most basic means of human communications. People love to talk. We've been talking since forever and ever. We will continue to do so. Even if you fly 12 hours to give a lecture in New York City, you pick up the phone, you call home, all of a sudden 12 hours is not such a big distance. For this reason, we've built a very elaborate PSTN system that allows us to call from anywhere to anywhere in the world. When we're talking about bringing people together, we need to make sure that it doesn't matter if, if I'm on a regular Verizon line or using a cordless phone or maybe I'm calling from my office or from my PC or am I on, on an area where there's uh, 3G coverage. Bringing the right service to the people means that these answers are not important. These questions shouldn't even be asked. Humans always sought the better. We had SMS, we invented MMS. We had AM radio, we invented FM radio. We had a move from regular cell phones to smartphones. We're always seeking the better solution. So the move from uh, narrow band speech to wide band speech is very natural. What does high definition voice over IP mean? It really means uh, that we're able to extend the bandwidth range from 200 hertz to 3.4 kilohertz all the way up to 50 hertz to 7.1 kilohertz. This substantially gives us higher voice quality with better clarity, intelligibility, and richer sound experience. The question asked is, is the timing right for high definition voice over IP? Look at this search results that I've got from Google. 190,000 results in the past 10 years for HD voice or HD VoIP. 82,000 of which are in the past 12 months alone. If you add to that a whole set of announcements and new happenings that we see in this field, it seems that there's something happening and the timing for high definition voice over IP is now. Let's look at some historical perspective which will allow us to better identify if we're ready for high definition voice over IP. Back in 1995, AudioCode co-authored G723.1 a voice coder. One year later, the world's first voice over IP gateway was invented. One year after that, in 1997, the first voice over IP network came to place. Ever since then, we see a growth of voice over IP networks in the world, which are bringing service for the people. If you look at this perspective, it's not such a long time. And you can see that from the point where technology appears, as in 1995 with the first vocoder, the evolution from technology to products to networks to servers tends to happen rather quickly. The question that needs to be asked is can we provide high definition voice over IP on PSTN networks, cable networks, broadband networks, mobile networks and enterprise networks and is there a ubiquity gap between those networks? Remember that we want to bring service to the people and it shouldn't matter where that person is. People want to be able to communicate from the enterprise to the mobile on a cable network, PSDN, or broadband. In doing this analysis, we'll evaluate technology, products, and networks. Let's start with the broadband residential perspective. In terms of technology, there's plenty of high-definition vocoders available. Standard vocoders and proprietary vocoders. Products are ever-growing. We have residential devices that are integrating voice and wireless. We have off-the-shelf devices, and we have royalty-free vocoders that are driving adoption in PC clients. Networks are increasing because last mile access is increasing, allowing bandwidth to be delivered to the house. Skype is growing users and playing educational role for high-definition voice or IP. We see that competitive and incumbent operators are looking at HD VoIP as a means of differentiating their services. And we have a set of operators worldwide who are offering high definition voice RP services. Still, not on large numbers, but the trend is in place. And peer-to-peer -peer communication is really motivating incumbents to start offering such services to their customers. As an overall perspective, we can see that there is a very fast adoption of high definition voice RP in the broadband market. People are making the better quality choice every day. When a person can choose between narrowband call and a high definition voice call, he will choose the high definition. And HD adoption in the broadband residential services are serving as a role model for all to follow. Hosted services, such as conferencing, are further cementing the advantage of high definition voice over IP. Let's look at the enterprise market. 
Here again, in terms of technology, we have standard vocoders such as G722. We have proprietary vocoders. We have vocoders that were borrowed from the mobile world, which prove very effective for mobility applications. Primarily, we see IP phones and additional tools such as wireless handsets and enterprise gateways, what we call multi-service business gateways, that are adding support for high-definition voice or IP. We have call control and applications that are now aware of high-definition voice or IP, conferencing applications and mobility servers that are leveraging mobile vocoders. So we see networking happening in the enterprise world. We have high bandwidth that's allowing HD vocoders at the highest rate and the best quality possible to be delivered across a managed enterprise network. We have a very fast migration from legacy PBXs to IP PBXs. Again, this is accelerating HD adoption. Best of breed enterprises are continuing to benefit from cost-effective HD equipment. As an overall perspective, enterprise market is playing a leading role model for HD voice or IP industry. I think that we can expect further innovation as high-definition voice or IP works and ties closer with applications.